It's okay, Elton. It's all gonna be okay, buddy. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is your one-stop shop to build your business and grow your brand with a beautiful online website where you can sell, engage with your audience, and so much more. How are you doing, Molly? <laughs> I know. Every time. <laughs> I told Alice she'd cry. Yes. I warned her. I mean, not yawn. I heard you on, and I was like, oh, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, me. Bye, bye. Salut, Lachie. Thank you, Ian. It was wonderful. Salut, Thank you so, so much. Salut. <laughs> Salut. Are you rolling? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. We just said our goodbyes. Always the hardest part. Many tears were shed. Cinnabar is driving home. Elisha and I are in the van with the pups. I feel like we just like broke free. We just skipping class and we're, we're at, and we skipped town. <laughs> I was expelled. You were skipping. expelled. Kicked me out. Kicked out. Against our will, I'll say. Yes. yes. We're all like, let us stay. We don't want to think about it. It's like you're simultaneously filled with so much gratitude for these people that have just dedicated so much time to give you this. the best gift ever. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm going to make myself cry again. You're like simultaneously so grateful to these people for what they do for us. And you're also like, I'm not ready to leave. <laughs> Don't put me out into the world on my own yet. I can't do it. You have so much fear. You're like, am I going to be a good mom? Um, but we got no choice. It's just you, me, Pico, and Elton John. We're on our own. We're big girls now in the real world with our dogs. And we're headed to the airport for a very long day, I will add. It's like 9 a.m. and uh, my flight's Two. not until 3.10 and Ella Shays is not until 2.45. So we've got a long day at the airport to kill time and uh, come with us for the fun for our first doggy flight. Is that yummy? Starbucks water, yum yum. He's baby thirsty. Yeah. yeah, we're at the airport and he's having his first ever Starbucks Look at water. The airport. All right, Elton had his glass of Starbucks water, and I'm just waiting. I signed up for a massage, a 30 minute massage. So I'm gonna get a nice massage. It's the only good thing about getting to the airport early. You can have a nice, you know, relaxing time. But apparently, all the lunch spots are getting really busy, and I'm hungry. Are you gonna go line up? My massage is sadly over. I could have stayed there forever. The classic. He was like, oh my gosh, your shoulders are so tight. I was like, yeah, you and every other massage therapist I've been seeing since I was 11 have all said that. I stressed out, okay? Um, also, you know, a guide dog shoulder. It's another good reason to work out. If you're a guide dog user, keep your shoulders strong, you know? Anyways. And rolling. Huh? Rolling your back. Yes, the foam rolling. So we're at a little Irish pub and we're sharing a veggie burger and fries. Veggie burger is apparently very, very good, so I'm really excited. And Elton is just peacefully tucked in there. There he is, hard to see him, but he is in there. Aww, looks very content. Also, somebody already came up and asked if they could take a photo of him. Aww. Just because he's so cute. I was like, yeah, sure. So we just laid there. Fuck you. Okay, I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat. Uh, okay, so Ella Shea's dog just went into the pee pit at the airport and took a poop and it smells horrendous. <laughs> so <laughs> now poor Elton, now poor Elton has to go in and try to pee. Elton, he's like, oh god, this is really... <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we pre-board in five minutes. I'm a little anxious because Elton didn't go to the bathroom in the P Square. It's brand new to him, so I'm not surprised. I tried a couple times, but no luck. Unfortunately, he hasn't peed since 7 a.m. because we had to. We got here super early because it was the only time a volunteer could drive us, and so he hasn't peed since 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. 8 a.m. and it's you know 3:30, so I'm a little stressed. Um, but this is the growing pains of leaving training. Um, it's a really, really busy airport today, and he did amazing. Like, he guided me flawlessly through everything, so that's great. But yeah, definitely feeling a bit anxious, so fingers crossed all goes well. Hey, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
I thought you were still I think it's time up. to fill him. But look how cute he is. Yeah. Anyways, Molly from the future here to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace, a longtime partner of this channel. If you are looking to create a new website for an existing business or a new one, Squarespace has got you covered. It is the one-stop shop. They have amazing templates that you can choose from. He was looking at you so intently. <laughs> it was like, like this is fascinating. This is so Maybe interesting. I should start a guide dog website. <laughs> They have amazing templates that you can choose from. That's what I did for my website. Actually, I've done that for my last three websites. They've all been Squarespace websites. I've just used their templates, changed things out, so it ends up looking original, one of a kind. You'd honestly never know that it was a template, at least in my humble opinion. You have access to everything from marketing tools and analytics. You can sell products, whether they are physical products or online digital tools that you're looking to sell, like a course or a newsletter and you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready, you can get 10% off going to squarespace.com slash Molly Burke, and that'll get you 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain name. Don't hesitate, start your business now, girl. If you've been thinking about it, let this be your message. Stop thinking, start doing. I believe in you. I swear to God, planes are getting smaller and smaller. Um, we're in business class and um, thank God because Elton certainly wouldn't have fit anywhere else except the bulkhead. But what's so annoying is you never know what plane you're getting. Sometimes the bulkhead's bigger, sometimes it's actually smaller. Ah, and I swear to God, these planes are getting smaller as well. Some of the seats nowadays at 4 foot 11. I'm like, this is real tight. I can't imagine being 6 foot tall. So I think from now on, we're either business class or premium to call me. Right, Mom? Yeah. There was a it's, time they'd help you, but they don't anymore. They don't. They won't move you anymore. There's a lot of airlines now since COVID. The rule is if, you're, if your service dog doesn't fit in the seat you booked, you just don't get to fly. They're not going to accommodate you or switch your receipt. So just the literal price of being a service dog user. So I have his harness off and he's tucked away. Do you see him? Mm-hmm. He's doing well. Yeah, we Very did well. uh, his Ritku which is his command to back up. So I just had him face the, the other side and back his booty in. And mm -hmm. that's how we got him in. It's okay, Elton. It's all gonna be okay, buddy. It's all gonna be okay. Don't you worry. Good news, there was an empty seat right across from the aisle from me. So my mom is sitting there now. And I have more space for Elton. <laughs> Happy dog, and uh, I swear to God, I was just saying to my mom, taking a guide dog home from guide dog training feels like taking a newborn baby home from the hospital. You're just like, am I gonna be a good mom? I don't know them. What does that cry mean? Are they okay? What's gonna help them feel better? What's gonna make them not feel good? It's just like, it's all gonna be fine. It's all gonna be fine. They just brought out our little snack box. And I, my mom just goes, if they offer a drink, I'm getting a gin and tonic. And I was like, I was just about to tell you, if they come around for drinks, I would like a gin with ginger ale. <laughs> We're on the same page. Bon appetit. So good. His, his head's been on my foot. It's been so good. It didn't even get up when the plane took off. It didn't. When it took off, not a stir. It's really good. Not a stir. His puppy razors took him in the car a lot. So I think he's just like, and on long road trips. So I think he's like, not a road trip. Elton John is home in Los Angeles, right where an Elton John belongs. He did amazing. He was a little freaking angel. He had his dinner on the plane, a little cup of water, slept the whole time. Just such a good little traveler. We're off to a great traveling start. And um, he went over 13 hours between by the time we got to the airport and by the time we got out, over 13 hours without peeing. And people always ask me about that, like, what about when your dog needs to go to the bathroom? Dogs are like incredible at holding it. Cause I gave him an opportunity to pee before the flight, did not take it. I brought him to the pee pit after the flight, wouldn't go. So I'm gonna have to ask my trainer when she comes next week for our follow up, um, for advice on how to make him pee in the like doggy pee pits at airports. Because I would like him to have the opportunity if he wanted to, but he wouldn't. So he just held it. And then when we got out, he went, He's like, if it's not outside Don LaRue, I ain't doing it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he went and he's just, look at, look at him, brother. Happy little clam. 
just wagging his damn tail, just so pleased. I think he's gonna be just like Gallup. Gypsy and Ben Ben were my struggles. Like, they were excited to be in a new place, but they like had a bit of an issue, like a little bit of anxiety or stress, which is very common. They prep us for that. Poops can be off, eating can be a little off, um, sleeping can be a little off. Those are things that you can expect sometimes bringing a dog home. Um, but Gallup, nada. And I think Elton's gonna be the same. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think he's gonna be like, ooh, so fun. <laughs> Adventure. Adventure. Anyways, uh, next stop is introducing him to his new home, aka an empty apartment with a mattress on the floor. We've made it. It's time for him to see his new home. Elton, interior. Ooh, she's dark in here. Here we go. Oh, where's he going? <laughs> Into your bedroom. <laughs> So this is the bedroom. Oh. This is the bed. See, it's fancy. You see? <laughs> it's pretty fancy. Oh, it's got to go for all your cushions. I know. Well. You're going to think all of the stuffies are his. Hey, Elton, do you want water? We had a big flight. Let's go this way. You know, it's very strange because all the stuff I bought for Ben that he never got to use is now going to be Elton's oh, by, so weird. like, you know, I don't know. It's weird. You know, I... I was trying to figure out where to go after training, and every time I thought about going to BC, I just cried. So it was quickly determined by my family and I that that was not a good idea, because I just, there's like too many memories with Ben. Whereas here, Ben never was at this apartment. All of this is brand new, and so, <laughs> watch out, there's luggage. So, it's kind of easier to come here because it's like I'm creating new memories instead of like dealing with old ones. It's not bad, not bad. It's not a bad place, not bad. This is you kind of sparse some furniture. <laughs> You're not wrong, Baba. It's yours. Okay. Oh. Aww. <laughs> That's your bowl. Well, it's nice to see a doggy drink out of it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's being used and Ben would want that. Yeah. Ben wouldn't want his things to go on you. He's so thirsty. Look at that. What a great sound. <laughs> he looks so flagged. Lovely. 